Hey there, it's Mark. Today I have my new Scramble Jungle track. Now let me get to Track Builder because I need to validate my track and then publish it so everybody can play it. I don't think I've done this before. Maybe you're curious what pieces of track I used. I will step through piece by piece and give a little commentary. Right when everybody jumps off the starting line, I have barriers. That's because I need to split people up into two groups to where you either go left or right. And then right away, now you gotta choose left or right again. After you pass through the gorilla module, you're gonna want to get back to the middle again. You can see the invisible track. That's the split piece. That's how you create split pieces. And I use the invisible split. When the track is published, you will not see the invisible track. That's why it's called invisible. But you need it because you have to connect the track. Everything has to be connected. Right away, you're gonna battle to get back to a single piece of track. It is elevated, so don't fall off the sides. Oh, another gorilla. That's why I called this custom track for Hot Wheels Unleashed. Scramble Jungle. Oh yeah, there's cobras in the jungle too. Scramble is basically to scramble up a hill. Overall, you notice that the track is kind of uphill. And that's the point. We come back through the Cobra module and we're gonna do a loop. Yep, a, a loop that's in the air. Before that, I have this track where it just kind of drops down beneath you. It's kind of fun, you'll be floating through the air. But I have a booster to launch you up into that loop. A magnetic track to catch you. That's the dark pieces if you didn't know. The yellow pieces are not magnetic, but you can see I have boosters. That's because I needed a checkpoint and checkpoints aren't on magnetic track. So I use the yellow pieces so I can get the checkpoint in there. And then I have some more boosters because you gotta get out of the loop and I'm gonna launch you across. Notice how I have the yellow track on the other side. This way you know you go from yellow track to yellow track. Of course I connect it with invisible track. When you're racing, it all looks easy. But let me tell you, it's complicated to build because when you have the broken pieces or split pieces, and look at this, I have you flying right between two gorillas. You're gonna have to be right in between them. Otherwise, the game is gonna reset you and bump you back and you're gonna have to try it again. This upcoming part, you've probably seen it done before in tracks to where you have to drive up a hill, then you gotta swing out and do a U-turn, slide or drive onto another piece of track and then head back in the direction you came from. Of course, each piece of track is connected with invisible track. You just can't have two open-ended pieces of track sticking up in the air. They gotta be connected somehow. I put the second piece of track just a little bit lower than the first one. Cars have to be able to slide off the edge, you know. Oh yeah, I took off the side rails. You do that by pressing the customization button on the bottom of the screen. Here's the last big stunt. I've had this idea for a while. Another gorilla and then we're gonna have a split because I want to have a little jump through the loop except each side jumps through the loop the little landing pad in the middle so you jump through the loop land on the pad and then keep on going there might be some mid-air crashes as you can see it took a lot of invisible track to make this happen the landing pad is actually connected to only one piece of track the other lane does not need to connect to that landing pad or I call it a lily pad so all I have to do is just connect the track on the other side I did not use any checkpoints in this section because this way each lane could share that landing pad without causing a checkpoint missed warning. I could have designed checkpoints into this, but it would have required more track. And as you can see, it's getting close to the wall already. This does create shortcut possibilities, and I'm going to show you the shortcuts right after I validate the track. I know I could have implemented checkpoints, but I wanted to sneak in one more gorilla at the end. That cost me 200 building units, and if you look closely, I don't have any building units to spare. I used 2,986. Okay, let's validate the track with the tractor, and after that I'll show you the shortcuts. Ah, oh, hit the gorilla.
that's one thing about the tractor it's a little slow let me back up and build up some speed again Are you ready to learn the shortcuts? I'm going to show you in this video, when I do another video promoting the track, I'm not going to talk about the shortcuts. That's your bonus for watching all of this one. Well, this one's easy. That's why I put the barriers at the beginning. I'm trying to distract you to get into the two lanes, when really, you can just drive between them. To be honest, you can just go around the whole thing. I do have boost charging strips on the top, though. My first version did not have the little ramp to get up into the single lane. But what happened is some people would fall off that upper ledge and then they couldn't get up here. I decided just to make it easy, have fun. Check it out, I made it through the gorillas on the first shot. Okay, here's the shortcut through the loop. You actually don't have to go through the loop, just kind of angle and go straight ahead. I try to remember to test the tracks with the monster trucks because you know they act differently and you know sure barriers no problem but uh, this one uh, no you can't fit through there don't forget you can just drive around it barriers up here no problem one thing to remember to pull up your front end when you're changing levels or like when you land after a jump you want to land on your rear wheels like this coming up, let my rear wheels touch first. But the monster truck is big, can it fit between the gorillas? What about the shortcut through the loop? Or rather, don't go through the loop. All those barriers. Oh my. Do you like shortcuts? I make tracks intentionally with shortcuts. Here's the playlist. I have a playlist to help people use checkpoints. Oh yeah, you might know about my track time channel. Thanks for watching. Happy racing. See you on the track. Bye bye.